Hello everyone, thank you so much for joining me again. I have the absolute most fun, interactive book I think you guys are gonna love. So I was pinning, I was on Pinterest and there was a thumbnail that popped up. I didn't get a chance to watch the video. It was really just the thumbnail that kind of inspired me. And it was by this channel called Art by B. Dell. Um, just in case you want to see it for yourself because I am pretty sure our album isn't exactly the same um, I had clicked on the video, but I just didn't have a chance to watch it yet So I just kind of like saw the thumbnail and, and made this Kind of just you know random on my own. So um, I my measurements everything is probably gonna be different But um, if you'd like to check it out um, I left this. This is just kind of like a little cover thing, but you guys are going to love this because I know so many of you love the flippy flips. So, oh my goodness, this is so busy, I know. But these papers that I got just make the album so much fun. This is just actually a sample. I didn't mean to actually keep that in there. So, um, yes, this is busy. <laughs> but you have four pockets, okay, right here. And then the thumbnail was really cool because it basically went like this and that's what kind of um, got me to want to click on it. It was just kind of this, it was actually a journal insert. So it goes like this. And for me, I just added a touch of vellum here. And then over here on the side, you're gonna have another pocket just kind of like hidden in there. Now, of course, this line, this vintage line is so busy, um, but I actually love it. I just love it. And you can use Maggie, whatever you want. Um, those who don't have double-sided paper, this really isn't a problem because um, I didn't use my inside part, so that's not really a big deal. The only thing you'll probably have to do is maybe cover either the inserts or cover this part. And that's easy. I would actually flip your paper this way and just make a cover. So, and then um, I don't know what she did on this side, but I ended up just replicating it and doing it on this side. And um, I just love the vintage look to it. And, you know, I just, I put some dyes in there and just, there's tea, even tea in here. So even though this doesn't have a thick binding, I mean, it still fits quite a bit and comes out lovely. Um, if you have a lot of stuff, that is moving around i recommend maybe taking just like a clip or something and kind of just like holding it down so it doesn't move in the mail you can do that and then so it doesn't just like wiggle around so um this was an extra flat but i wanted to show you that this you can actually make a pocket on the side if you don't want to make two or you can put that pocket in the back as well and one last thing sorry i feel like i'm about to sneeze <laughs> is remember the no the index card clips that we made, I, these actually look lovely on it. So I actually just had an example of it and these go great or this is actually a great album to gift these. So if you've made these and you wanna gift them to someone, this is another great idea. And this was just the other version that we had made to show you how lovely they go on these pockets as well. All right, enough babbling, let's get started. <laughs> So let's start with the cover um, of the album first. So this is obviously just inspo. You guys can make this any size you want, but it's a really decent size. Um, as you can see by my hand, lots and lots of wiggle room. So I'm gonna be using an eight by 12 paper and our scores are pretty simple. It's going to be five and 10 inches at the 12 inch score. So this is pretty busy, but you'll see it. This is just gonna be my cover. So five inches and 10 inches. Now, if you don't want the extra flap, just make it uh, 12 by 10. But I just wanted to give you guys some options. So this is gonna be my cover. These lovely strawberries. You guys know how much I love strawberries. I didn't, I, I probably wouldn't have named my channel Pink Strawberry, but it's just stuck with me. So this is something, like I said, you can not do one on the side if you wanna take a shortcut and just make this a cute little tuck inside and just put the, the interactive part on this side. Or um, you can make it your cover, or you can fold it back and have a pocket there, okay? So one thing I did forget to do while I was doing all that is when I was inking it, I had actually put all of my things on prior to it. So if you are inking your paper, because she had this beautiful inking on hers, and I should have put it on my um, 
I should have put it on my phone because she got inside all these little crevices here which really divide your paper up if you're doing that like a burnt edge look or whatever so you can see the lines in there and that makes a difference so just a tip if you are doing it don't do it like i did and i was like oh no and you'll see it's a little messy on some of my pages because i tried to go back and like do it again so that's just going to give you that divided line look or divided pages and people usually speed this up but i'm doing it pretty fast i feel like all right, so we've got that. So we have our lovely cover. And um, you can also do this too if you want. I don't know what I'm doing with this yet. I guess I'll leave it the way I did it so I don't confuse anyone, especially some people watch my channel um, in caption. Okay, so there's the cover. Too easy. And it's... I'm just gonna set that aside. Now let's do the inside pages. So those two little, oops, I'm dropping all my stuff. Okay. So the two pages are gonna be seven and a half by 12 inches, and we're just scoring them at four and eight inches. One's just gonna be the left page, one's gonna be the right. And these are too easy not to do. You don't even have to add the pockets. They can just be like these flips. So again, at the 12 inch score, we're just gonna do it at four inches and eight inches. And sorry, my, these papers are really busy, but they really make the album. So it's just important for me to want to use this. So I'm gonna do the left side here. So I'm just gonna fold this down here and fold it back. So it's gonna go like this, okay? And I'm going to take my two inch punch and just make a little hole right here. I bet this would look amazing stitched up. So that is going to go on this side, okay? So that's kind of how I'm folding my paper. But again, if you're making it look distressed, do it now before you glue it on. Because you will not have that opportunity to do once it's on. And I had contemplated, like, just doing it over. And I was like, um... I don't have enough paper. I really, really regret not getting two of these kits, you guys. I might have to order it because they're just gorgeous. I just love it. Probably, I don't know if it's because I don't work with this color often or just because it's so gorgeous. But a lot of you, when I did the haul, seem to like this one. Okay, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and glue it down. I'm just gonna pop some, remember this is a pocket, so we're just putting the glue around these edges here. And I forgot to uh, unclog my glue. So give me one minute. Okay. Oop. I need to refill this. I feel like it's just gonna pour out in a minute. All right, so summer has definitely begun for us. My little guy started him in tennis about a month ago and he is like obsessed and I love it because I feel like we've always struggled with sports and this is the one thing he wants to drag me to that I don't wanna drag him to. It's been really fun. So here we go. So you can see where the interactive part came in. It's just going like this. Okay, so that is that page, and we're gonna do the same thing to the other side. So again, we're just gonna, we have our, our eight by 12 paper, and we're scoring it at five, I'm sorry, oops, <laughs> I got the wrong one. Our seven and a half by 12 inch paper, and we're scoring at four and, and eight inches. So you should already have this cut out because I mentioned two sheets of these. So four and eight inches. Okay, and now this is gonna be my pocket on this side, so I'm kind of just folding it this way and this way. So it's gonna go this way instead. Okay, and again, I'm gonna just distress this part. 
because I want it to show up. So anyway, are there any tennis players out there? There are some, those kids are really good. You know, kids these days are really um, starting early. I mean, really early with sports. And it's very, uh, it's competitive because, you know, my son's going to middle school next year. So I'm like, if, if I, if my friend had not asked to, um, for him to join because her son's play, I wouldn't have probably thought, I would have been like, yeah, I'll just wait till middle school. No way. If I waited until he got to middle school, there's no way he would get on the team if he didn't practice before. And that's crazy because I don't remember it being like that. I remember just kind of being able to play, you know, but these schools want to win the champions and they're not going to, they're not going to pick the guy who's not going to help them win the championship. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing on this side. We're going to glue it this way. I really need to pull this back up, you guys. I'm going to glue this down. And just stick it on. And I don't want it too close to the edge because I feel like if you're sliding stuff out, and she did make hers like a little extra large. That's why I left some of this. Usually I make it pretty close to the size of the paper, but I was like, no, I like how you can see the papers displayed. I think that's beautiful because otherwise we would be covering our cover. You know what I mean? All right, next. So we have to do our pockets, right? So pockets are going to be so simple. Let me put this out of the way for a minute. We're just doing, okay, so I'm scoring these, okay? If you don't, if you don't plan on stuffing anything, like a lot of stuff, like, and you don't want it moving around, just make it a three by four pocket and glue it on. If you need the score, do three by four and a half, and we're just gonna score it just a quarter inch around three times. So I'm just gonna kind of score these all three times around. And when you do it three times around, it's two two of the short sides, one of the long sides. So it's gonna look like that, one, two, and three. And I'm just gonna kind of do all of them here, all four of them. Usually I pre-do these, but I was like, eh, cause I wanna see how they're gonna line up as I do them. But yeah, um, so yeah, they start all these kids off like when they're walking out of the womb <laughs> and you have to really catch up to them. It's crazy because there are some kids that are quite good already, but I was reading articles about it and they're like, you know, it's not good for children to um, start too young because they're still developing. It's not good for their body when they overuse it. So, okay, I've got the three scores here. That's gonna be our top. I'm just gonna, you know, cut this off. So before we fold it, I don't know which sides I'm using yet. So I'm just gonna cut these real quick. And I'm gonna kind of like look at it because these papers are super busy. So I wanna make sure that I place them the right way so they don't look funky. Okay, so after I cut my pockets, I kind of just put my booklet here and I just want to see how the pockets are going to look. So I definitely don't want to use that. I think I'm going to use... I think I'll do something like... Actually, that blends in, I think, better. Yeah, because there's so much green going on here. Um, yeah, I'm going to do that. Okay, and now I'm just going to fold these on. And these are exactly the length of the paper, so make sure you measure your papers good because there's no leeway there. 
and just fold all these up and glue them on. I'll probably just speed this part up for you guys. Okay, before I for actually before I forget, if you are distressing, distress now. Because I almost just glued it on and forgot to distress. And also do your little punches, which I think there's enough room if you accidentally stuck it on. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and glue these on. All right, so placement is obviously all preference and how you do mine, yours, I'm sorry. I just leave a little bit at the edge and just kind of like try to leave a little bit of space so if you put something up there, but they just came out lovely already. I just love it. I just, I love the busyness of it. And typically I don't like um, things being too busy, but this, this is okay. I'm totally okay with this. So now let's just decorate and I'm telling you the pieces to the, this kit is what makes this album so easy. So I'm going to just show you some fun things that I did. So because this kit was adorable or whatever you have, they had all these like awesome little strips. So right here, I don't know if you noticed, but I actually put one down. That's not the paper. That's actually a strip that I had put down. And um, just to like dress it up, if you want it just more busier, you could absolutely use one of your scraps and place that on there just to add to the album. So you don't even need like your die pieces. You could just, um, you know, use that. Actually, I wonder if I should take off the stitch part. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and glue that on there. And I'm gonna just pop it right in the middle like that okay and in here what I had done is just added some vellum so I'm gonna show you how I did that I just have this page here and my vellum I'm gonna so we're gonna use one for each side so there's gonna be two pieces of vellum they're gonna be about three and a half by seven inches and of course I did distress it just to match the album because it was just kind of like eh I needed to have a little bit of that edging on there. Just really lightly, I just did it. Just so we kind of match. And I'm gonna place it right on there. And you can use dies or tags. Um, it really doesn't matter or whatever you want to use. Um, this is a tag. I think I'm just gonna distress this a little bit and put it on there. And I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna staple it on there. So make sure you don't have any of your other pages in the way. And I'm gonna take it, grab my stapler and just staple it on this page. So make sure it's not, you know, it's just on this page right here. And I have this sweet little thing just to, you know, kind of fill up some room. And then I have these beautiful, like, four by six 
project cards that I'm going to go ahead and slip in the side. But this would be great for photos too, right here. So I have that hidden pocket right here, just kind of waiting to be filled up. I must have glued that on a piece of glue on there. So there's that, and then I'm just, and again, you can put something in here. It just depends how interactive you really want this. <clears throat> I'm going to add a tag in there. And again, I did just distress everything to blend with the album. Cause I felt like if it was too white, then it would look a little funky. So I'm gonna just throw a little project card in there. And put it in here and do you remember the index cards we made like all those fun things with the washi I just did this with some of the dye I'm just gonna put this in here to show you that that can go in there now let me find some of these pieces remember I told I had showed you guys this in the hall if you saw it and these pieces are already layered for you so how awesome that I can literally just stick this in here right and it's gonna look like I did all this work and I really didn't. It's really the dye piece that's in there. Um, so you can do that. And of course you can add like a T in here. They fit absolutely perfect in here for anyone who is crazy about T. I've got a little sticker for my kit. I'm just gonna throw that on there cause that's what I did on the other side. Oops, I did not glue this on all the way. Sorry, there's way too many pockets for me. I did not glue that on at all. <laughs> all right. And I love the lettering just to break it up a little bit. So I'm going to add this one. It says sweet as pie. And there's a lot of red in this. So I'm kind of just, you know, adding that. What else do we have here? I've got these more tickets. <clears throat> these I feel like that's too much of that so I'm gonna save this for the other page let me just stick some things in here just to fill it up a little bit and I do love how this page came out I I feel like this didn't even need much because the page was so pretty I didn't want to cover it up the only thing I did was really add that vellum to it um, and that ticket and again, I distressed it. So on this side, I'm going to take that other sheet of vellum and do the same thing. Honestly, I love the page just like this, but because probably if I wasn't doing the video, I'd probably leave it because I really like the way that looks by itself. You could add like pockets here or maybe even cut this in half and use it as another pocket and glue it down. I wonder if I should do something like this. I don't know what to do because I just love how that looks see, seeing through it. So I think I'm just gonna staple this on here and just leave it. Don't you guys just love how this looks? Cause it looks like almost like an old map. So I'm gonna leave that. Maybe I can put a sticker or something on the bottom of it. No, I'm going to leave it because I like it just like that. And then we've got another pocket to fill up on the end. Over here. And I feel like I do need something over here. I just don't know what. Maybe one of those. Because um, it came with awesome stickers too, like tickets and stuff. But... I just don't know. I guess I could even do something like that. I don't know, cause I'm just enjoying that. Maybe I'm just gonna leave it. I think I'm just gonna leave it. Um, because I just love the page and I don't wanna mess it up. And then I have this one that's kind of already filled up too. I wouldn't mind a little sticker here. This, this area seems a little plain for me. 
And the mason jars are just adorable. I'm gonna put a little mason jar there, sure. But anyways, and again, if you want, if you don't want this to be the flap, just make it like a back pocket. I just don't know. I mean, this is a pretty filled album, so uh, if you're really spoiling someone, make that another pocket. If not, you can just kind of leave it like this, and it's just so pretty like this by itself. I just wrapped it again in the bungee cord and just kind of left it like this. And the, again, the pages were so pretty, I felt like I didn't even need to um, decorate it. I just leave it like this. So you see everything we filled up. I don't know if this will pass flat mail, but it will definitely, um, it's, get, it's close. It depends how much you fill it up. So this is the album and it's complete. And I just think it's so much fun. It may be too busy for some people, but I just appreciate this. And I think it's just a, adorable. Um, so I can't wait to hear what you guys think. I wonder if you, I should put like a little jar there. Would that be weird? Or here, let me see. That's weird, isn't it? I don't know, let me know what you guys think. I might put it back. All right guys, thank you so much for joining me and I can't wait to see your work. I love that you guys are sharing these albums with me on Instagram. So you can, if you, a lot of people ask me, oh, can I send it to you? My email gets flooded with spam. So I don't, if I see something unfamiliar, I don't really like, um, to click on it. So the best way to show me your work is on my Instagram on pink strawberries. All right, guys, thank you so much.